Titan Server supports SSH public or host key authentication for users to authenticate to the Titan Server. Before public key authentication can be implemented, there are some processes to complete outside of the scope of your Titan Server. The end user should create an SSH key pair for their use. This can be done using software such as WebDrive, PuTTY, or WinSCP. Each user of the server would need to create their own key pair. The end user keeps the private key and will use it for the client side of the connection. The end user securely shares or transfers the public key to the Titan server administrator for use with the server side of the SFTP connection between the end user and Titan. Once this has been completed, the administrator is ready to configure Titan. The first step is to enable SSH public key authentication at the server level. To get started, log into the Titan administrator with valid credentials. Click on the server of interest and then navigate to the services section. Select the SFTP SSH tab. Check the box next to enable public key authentication. Decide whether to enable the option at the server level to kick users who present an incorrect SSH host key. If enabled, this setting would result in the server kicking users out of the server authentication or session if their host key fingerprint presented by the client during connection time does not match the expected key. This is a secure option and is recommended. If disabled, users are able to try another connection as their session is not rejected or ended. Apply the changes and choose to restart the server or service to apply the changes. Next, navigate to the Users section of the Titan Administrator and click the Edit option for the desired user. Select Edit User Services. Again, go to the SSH SFTP tab. Here you can select whether to override server level controls with granular user level option. At least ensure that you have SSH services enabled for this user. You can then choose for this user whether they should be kicked for presenting an incorrect SSH host. Import the public key using the manage host keys option. Select import. Give your host key a name, browse for the file, and import their public key into your environment. Choose Close, and then check the box next to the key that you would like to use for this user. Choose Apply. You would then do this process for each user account that would have a key for their authentication. Users, again, should use their corresponding private key on the client side when authenticating to the Titan server via SSH. This can be done via command line or client software, such as WebDrive, PuTTY, or WinSCP.